How can you become a better writer? I'm going to steal a couple of ideas from a book that I read last month, and the title of the book is called Peak. 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 Peak, Secrets from the New Science of Expertise. It's by Anders Ericsson and Robert Poole. And I'm going to steal two ideas. The two ideas are the concepts of, one, deliberate practice, and two, mental representations. Deliberate practice is different than just regular practice. You've probably heard that myth where, hey, just practice something for 10,000 hours and bingo bongo, you're an expert, and the authors debate that and say, no, that's not what it is. It's all about deliberate practice. The book is largely dedicated to what deliberate practice is and how to do it. So if you want to up your expertise game, by all means, read the book and find out how to do deliberate practice. In a nutshell, it involves setting goals, doing solo practice work and doing it mindfully, and maybe even at shorter intervals than you would if you were just grinding on it. Uh, setting the goals, working with a coach, getting feedback. Those kind of things are all involved in deliberate practice and they go into it in great detail and I recommend that. Deliberate practice, however, leads the way to our second concept, which is mental representations. And experts have many more and more varied mental representations of what their field of expertise is than a layperson or a non-expert might happen to be. And as an example, if I showed a piece of wood to a carpenter, and I'm a layperson, I'm, I'm not a master carpenter, but the carpenter might look at that piece of wood and have a million mental representations of what's the progeny of that tree? What can this piece of wood become? What can't it become? They can see that wood in a multitude of different ways that I will never be able to see that wood unless I devoted a lot of time to becoming a master carpenter and I have no intention of doing that. But I do have the intention of becoming a better writer. So that means deliberate practice for me. And for a lot of my deliberate practice, yes, I do write every day. Yes, I do set word count goals, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other things that I do for deliberate practice, like work with other people, like get editors and get feedback and set different goals for myself. And one way that I like to work on my deliberate practice game is to do NaNoWriMo or National Novel Writers Month. It's also pronounced NaNoWriMo. I really have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, but the concept of NaNoWriMo is we take the entire month of November, writers do anyway, to write a novel in one month, 50,000 words, which means we need to write 1,677 words every day. That's deliberate practice. Uh, and we'll meet in uh, little groups and do word count wars and do other exercises as writers to help motivate us and get us going on our, our word counts for our deliberate practice of writing this novel. And NaNoWriMo, of course, is just one way to do deliberate practice. And through NaNoWriMo, you start to get more mental representations of what your writing could be. It's not just that you're looking at your spelling errors or your grammar errors, which is all part of becoming a writer, you know, getting that kind of review and feedback, but looking at story arcs as you start to do more writing, looking at the different beats that you need to hit as you start writing more and more. So you start looking at your work in different ways, starting to look at scenes and synopsis and some of the metadata that goes into creating timelines. So there's a lot of different things that you can start looking at to develop your expertise. And I think NaNoWriMo is a great model uh, to practice if you're looking to do deliberate practice that leads to different mental representations of your work. So if you're looking to become more expert as a writer, I do recommend reading peak. It'll give you some ideas about how to do your deliberate practice so that you become more expert as a writer. And do also look at NaNoWriMo so that you get some practice and you get some feedback and you start getting some of those different mental representations that can help you become an expert as a writer.